Good morning, world, and good morning, my boy! Good morning! Welcome, you faces, to a new dawn and a new day. And this right here is my little Valentine day. <laughs> and I'm talking about you. Hello, Barney McGrew. Are you the cutest thing in the whole world? Are you the cutest, cutest? Yes, you are. You're so ready to start this day, aren't you? Look at that smile. Oh, my boy. Should we go and change your poop? Should we go and change your poop? Let's do it. Always give everything 110% effort. Even your poop change. Is this why you were smiling? What have you done? My boy, look at this. He's got himself an outfit. And he's got me a card. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's adorable. I figured you were filming them for a second, like if I took off his nap, there'd be something there, like a, a card. You like, can take it off. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah, it's been... Oh, there is! <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. I really love you too. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's so cute. My boy, thank you so much. And look at this. <laughs> you are the best son I could have ever asked for. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wasn't expecting this. I thought these were for Alfie, but they're for me from Alfie. Do you want to go inside the lounge and we'll open them? Ooh. Ooh. Ta-da! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Happy oh, Valentine's Day. Beautiful. And the flowers are definitely from me. Yeah, you can get bugger of you. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, they're Aww. Look at that, you've got three cards. You've got one from me, one from Alfie, and then one from me and Alfie. Oh. Isn't that right? Because teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> How good is that card? Yeah, yeah, I tolerate you. That's what you tolerate, milk. Yeah, <laughs> lactose intolerant. Oh, what's that? I didn't have the print of version, so I had to make my own yeah. one times redeem token for a one hour full body massage. <laughs> Mummy's now going to open your card. Oh, wait, Alfred, you can't be saying that to your mother. I love your stupid face. <laughs> I'm going to say, he's not. Alfie. You can't have gifted your mum the same exact thing. Another massage? Yes! Good thinking, Batman. I guess uh, great minds think alike. <laughs> dribble, dribble, dribble. And then one last card that we both collaborated on together. Which Alfie specifically picked because it represents our life very accurately. Just from the front of the card. Is this love? Yes. Me on my phone, you eating ice cream, and um, an additional Alfie saying, blub. <laughs> It's good, isn't it? <laughs> I, I really should have used a thicker pen to add Alfie on, but whatever. <laughs> that is excellent. Excellent. Oh, no, my gosh, what is that? Not another redeem token for a one-hour massage with Annie. What, three hours? <laughs> three hours to get out the house, chill out, and not have to deal <laughs> with our shenanigans. Enjoy. Oh. I think that went down and treat me. Oh. Well like that. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. <laughs> Daddy's now going to open the presents you gave me. And oh, I recognise this box. I recognise this box. Yes, it is. Biscuitiers. <laughs> Quite possibly the best gingerbread makers in the world. You ready? Or shortbread. Or any of sort of biscuits. It comes in a packet. Oh, that's not normal, is it? That's first. Bum, ba, da, dum, da. Oh. It's tradition. I always take off the head and eat it, so <laughs> thank you. And look at him. I, I took the head straight off it and he started smiling, but now he's fixated on himself. Look at you, you big chunky oh. boy. Oh, is that you? Is that Alfie? Okay, should we go for the big box first? What's gonna be in the big box first? Have you just put yourself on? No, this is because mine literally broke. Mine literally broke, what, two days ago? <laughs> this is why my beard looks so scraggly. Alfred, are you trying to say that the kisses are prickly? 
Or is mummy trying to say that the kisses are prickly? Thank you so much. I literally just said, didn't I, two days ago that I needed that replacing? Because I threw it in the bin in anger. Thank you. Oh, kiss. Should we open this one? Oh. Oh. Is it some gym shorts? Yeah. No way. Oh, Lululemon. Yeah. I'm going to be following in the footsteps of Casey Neistat. He's a, a picture ambassador for them. Look at that. Do you think, is this a bit more fitting? Yeah, I just thought you might be a bit sweaty in your other shorts. I'm very sweaty in my other shorts, and I definitely need to start getting some Syndicate original T-shirts made because... Um, That's why I didn't no, get your T-shirts. They're not the most breathable, make, so. but Thank you for that. Alfred! I can actually fit in these, by the way. I think if you gave me these two uh, earlier, previous Tom, uh, that was not going to be a case. Now I've oh, got dear. you small because I think you're a small now, aren't you? You think I've got to small? Well, I'll take a compliment. I didn't know it came with one of those as well. I'll take a compliment. Thanks, little dude. Hey, what's this? I don't have a. I couldn't even it's a bit take of a wild guess. Wild card. I couldn't even take a guess. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh, this is awful. In in the most lovely way. You're you're gonna you're gonna try to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> You're trying to kill me. You're so if, into it. I feel like you, you need don't all the gadgets. Know what these things are, it's called a my zone belt, and it's to track your fitness. So it's to push you to the absolute limit of your fitness. Right? I oh know. I went a bit oh. overboard this year, didn't we? I don't know why you've done that. Alice has talked about it. Charlotte just said. Have you spoke to Charlotte? I, I text Alice to ask what was the best one, so. Yeah, and Charlotte she was like, your next step is to get a my zone belt. And I was like, nah, because she was like, yeah, then you'll keep pushing yourself each session. Right. Tom's tits are definitely on the way out. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you, little dude. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, I've then got a lovely little card, which... Dun, 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 dun. Daddy, you are wonderful. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Whoa, it's a big one. This is where I try and get my read on. <laughs> you should get your read on. To Daddy, I love you so much. Thank you for being the most amazing daddy in the world. There couldn't be a more amazing daddy than you. Lo love you lots. Thank you for everything you do for mummy and me. We appreciate it more than you know. All my dribbling kisses. <laughs> Alfie. <laughs> thank you, Alfie. That is so, so lovely. And thank you for the compliment to mummy. I do appreciate that. Aww. Now, on Valentine's Day, I usually do flowers and chocolates, but I didn't get you a present. It was a bit of a wild card, but I, you, you said it a few times. And I thought, hmm, maybe she'll like it. We won't talk. We won't talk about my attempt at a bow. Well, it wasn't supposed to be a bow. It was just supposed to be like fancy flared. Okay, okay, packaging. Um, but that's what I made. Oh, I think it looks great. Yes, it's a bit of a wild card, but. I did take mental note of something a while back. I thought maybe she'll like this. Oh. <gasps> oh, they're lovely. We thought you might like some gold earrings because you've mentioned it before. Yeah. And I thought they would suit you, sir. Oh, they're very nice. Do you like them? I really like the box as well. I thought it was very random because when you open it, you don't see anything. You're like, um, know, I've been like, given an, um, an empty box. Oh, they're lovely, babe. Yes! The reason why I'm a bit like, so like, ooh, is because this is so random of me to go for. But on Valentine's Day, I usually do like flowers or chocolate and car, but I just thought, it's kind of for me and Alfie, so I thought, go a little bit further. Oh, I think they look lovely. Yeah. They look really nice. You always said you haven't got them gold earrings, so I thought maybe they would do. Some gold earrings. Just a trick. Were you enjoying that movie? Were you enjoying that movie then? Now, I'm sorry to do this, but I've got to take the attention away from you and your mum because I've got to go and see my mum because it's her birthday. Ah, I've got a feeling there's someone outside my house. Hello, you. You need Lydia. You need Lydia? Yeah, she? Watch the car, baby. Is it in my car? Well, you didn't park in the middle of the sensors, did you? So the gate's closed into a car. Oh my gosh, it'll be right. Don't move. I'll open the gate. Oh, please don't have left a mark. Please don't left a mark. Luckily, because it's wood, it might be okay. Moment of truth. Oh, thank gosh for that. You're very lucky that it's wet, spongy wood. Silly gate. He's lucky that gate missed the back of it entirely because that's got the metal plate on it and could have scratched all the back of a car. Bye-bye now. And the chaos of this Wednesday morning continues. So uh, how did uh, Code Love 20 go? Ooh. Why does it smell like an old Victorian woman's house? <laughs> you always say that every time. It's what a is it? Perfume, and every time I put it on, you say the same thing. 
So honestly, I never wear it. I probably wear it twice a year because you say that and I put it on and I've come you. literally you. like... Red smell like you're about to walk around and try and cure the plague or something. It's That's red, so bizarre. Oh, and hello, little dude. Hello there. Idiots. What? I've left these monster trucks in the house. Oh, oh. Gonna... Welcome to things that don't make sense in Alice's car. Why the heck is that button all the way up there? Never in the history of vehicles has the wind mirror yeah, button. Look. Up and down. Well, the hell, how many you've got up there? No, in the history of all cars, it goes there. Put child lock on, I've got to look down, whereas if it's there, I can see it straight away and go, bing. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Such a girl. Only my brother would get away with that. I'm telling you. Alright, child, we've arrived at destination. You are to be on top form when you see Grandma. Correcto? <laughs> Plane. No. Pigeon. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> it's a crow. Just like the crows on your nose. Oh. Poor little dude's got a chap face Hi. from like runny noses and stuff like that. So he's on a bit Hi. of cruise to try and fix it. But can you see, if it, is there a plane about to crash into me and he's trying to warn me? What can you see? Dead people. Alice, stop it. What is it with you and this pointy finger? Oh, and look at this timing. Nino's turned up. Oh. Ooh la la, it's Viva La Grige. How is the dentist? Oh, did, have you got half a numb face? Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. Come on, then. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy birthday to you. 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 you take over our Valentine's Day every year. Hey. So we love you, Nino. Hey. I'm taking mum away tonight. So uh, there you go. I'm passing you over. Take him off, mate. He's bloody heavy. Wow. Um, I've got a feeling I should be stopping this, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this off you. Yeah? Because uh, I don't think you're supposed to allow lollipops at age um, uh, one and a half. Now he's got the beef sensations. I'm just gonna take them off you as well. Yeah, this is not exactly the most uh, child-proof house. Then again, I can't say anything because I've got uh, blowtorches, machetes, and rifles everywhere. So this is fine. And oh my gosh, that is a lot of a cards. Freaking heck. Because in one day, you have to celebrate my mum's birthday, yeah. Valentine's Day, oh, no, I don't know. wedding yeah. anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing all right for cards. Flipping heck. I'm pretty pleased with my three choices. I'm oh, quite, I'm quite good with cards. <laughs> so you have to buy three cards every year? Yeah, but at least it's all one, <laughs> bit, one yeah. Bit. yeah, yeah, just one Done. day out the way. Done. Yeah, yeah, well and played. Just remember that it's a Christmas card. Oh, well, hey! Happy one year anniversary of you being my stepdad. Uh, yeah, isn't that mad? Oh my gosh. How fast has that gone? Wow. Like, how fast has that gone? Have you enjoyed the family? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? yeah. Out of ten? Ten. Oh! I like the family. <laughs> oh, me no! That's so really lovely. Hey, I will say thank you for everything you do for us. Thanks for everything you do for your mum. For, for your mum, our mum. And thanks for everything you do for Syndicate Original. I try my best. Oh, that's, that's so lovely. Your best friend wins best card competition. Never forget that with a positive attitude and a great pair <laughs> <laughs> You can do anything. Oh my gosh. That, that's such a good card. Come on. Come on. Look at you just getting embarrassed. <laughs> Why'd you just point at me? <laughs> I know people love my vlogs when it's like adventure and doing things and projects and stuff like that, but man, I do really love like just being able to capture these moments with my family and look back on like, thanks for watching guys. I, I really do appreciate you. So nice to be able to like look back at the bloody hell can says you! <laughs> Wow, she's not been, not been not been dating, has she? As a collective, I think we need to put um, Loggy <laughs> uh, in fat camp. Oh my gosh, Twiggy, what happened to you? You want the size of a stick? She's in season. She's in season. Crikey! As I was saying, thank you. You're 59 years old. What's the meaning of life? Grandchildren. Let go of the past. Let go of the past? Fucking hell, it's a bit late for that, innit? <laughs> <laughs> let her have a, let her have a meaning of life now. moment. When you're 59, you can decide what it is, all right? But for, after 59 now. years of experience, she's now no, decided... Just let it go. Let what it go. It a year ago. <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? You keep seeming to wanting to expand this answer. Yeah, don't dwell on the past. You can't change it. Let it go. 
That's lovely, Mum. Note to self, ask you for advice next time we're getting cards for Mum and Grandma because you're bloody out done me with this one, aren't you? Look at this, a fully customised one. Flipping it, you want me pants down here? What does the card say? Happy birthday, I hope it's totally awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and who needs a customised card when you've got three pineapple heads drawn into your card? Three? Three. Because it's me, Lydia and Alfie now. Not just me. All by myself. <laughs> I know Alfie didn't get you no know, customised card, but he did get you a pretty cool pair of presents. So if you'd like to take that top one over there. Now this was hand-picked by Alfredo for you. Can you guess what it is yet? It's a cuddly Valentine's toy. Ooh. Dispensable. It's a Stife Bear. And just before you go like, huh, it's a 2023 version. It's a Stife Bear from the year of Alfie's birthday. Oh, that's lovely. Because it's from Alfredo. That's beautiful, thank you. Aww. Keep it away from the dog. <laughs> right, so you're trying to one-up me with every little gift. You've got mum, some fancy sliders. All right, Karen, me, Lydia and Alfredo. Pass it down. Watching my mum open presents is the most single painful part of, of every birthday or Christmas. She takes every bit of tape off it as if she's going to reuse it, and then she keeps the paper because she's going to reuse the paper. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> Wait, why are you just randomly in the shot? Oh, very nice. I hope you like them. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? She'll keep all this and look. Oh, for the heck. Now tell me that's not some nice packaging. Look at that. Oh, it smells nice as well. Have you sprayed it with perfume? Oh, oh. Not, not a clue. Not a, yes, not a, it does, does it? Yeah, oh, very nice. I didn't realise they were clips. Yeah, clips. Oh, you can keep them. Oh. Tap the paper. Keep them. Yeah. So Why are you just good. randomly looking at me like that? So cheeky. At the coca, coca cabana. What? Copa, C O P A. It's copa. Copa. I thought it was coca. Copa. At the copa. Copacabana. All right, well, that song doesn't sound as good anymore. Ooh. Oh. They're a bit nice, aren't they? Are they nice? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Well, no, I'll be walking into the Crescent Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bit of you? Yeah, they're lovely. I've got those nice white ones you got me that... Zing, zing. Oh, I've nearly dropped them. Yeah. The Look at that. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Yeah. yeah, I thought they were very you, Mum. So that's from me, Lydia and Alfie. Happy birthday. Have a lovely, lovely <laughs> evening in Buxton tonight. Big family hug and love. We appreciate you. And we'll celebrate with a nice family meal when you're back, OK? Yay! Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. 59 years. It's only <laughs> What? Tomorrow we're going for a meal. I know we are. Why? What did? What did I say? You said like we'll celebrate when, when you're back. back. <laughs> when you're back. Hey, when, uh, every, every second I'm away from you. I've got to go to work tomorrow. Every, Valentine's Day. Every, every second away from you feels like a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> and will someone do something about the size of this dog? And an hour later, we're out of here, and this is why it comes invaluable clutchness that Alice is driving because she's going to drop me off to get my Defender back. We've got some updates about it. Oh, where is it? The garage. Well, I very much appreciate this lift, Alice. Thank you very much. Before I get to the Defender, what I took it in to get fixed was the CD player. Like, well, not CD player. The, the CD <laughs> who has a CD player? player? That's I'm like that sounds so ancient. No, the actual entertainment system, every time you went, like, hit a pothole or a bump or a speed bump or anything, or even brake too hard, it would disconnect. Right. Are you about to have a mental breakdown? Because he's crying. No, I'm in the laughing background. at you, CD player. But every. Listen, I've got a bloody cassette oh, tape player as well, right? Um, uh, what is it? Now that's what I call... Yeah, <laughs> 1999. 
But um, yeah, every time I hit a bump, it used to knock out, and it turns out it wasn't screwed in properly. Only one of the three of the four screws were actually connecting it in place. Nice. So I've had that fixed. I had a leak in the ceiling, and it turns out they can't fix that because it's not as simple as a task as we once thought. Do you remember how I told you um, I drove to the tip of my Defender and I basically hit my aerial on the back because I dislodged it, water was getting in well. Uh, yeah, that's not the case. Apparently, the seal between the actual vehicle and the roof has gone because after they conducted a leak test um, it was pissing in water and it was flooding through into the footwell and to replace that seal is a much bigger job than Dan here wants to take on so I'm gonna have to go to like a specialist to get that sorted and until I do it's gonna continue to smell like socks well, thank you very much boys I appreciate that till next time see you later this was the state of the radio not even bolted it in place <laughs> Crack it. I wondered why it kept disconnecting. What is good to have it back. It also turns out um, my reversing light wasn't working. So it kind of explains why every time I went to pull out the space, people didn't wait for me. But Dan secured that and we are now good to go. But let me showcase this. Every time I actually went to press skip on a song using these arrows, when I would press the unit, it would almost fall out into the back. But look at this now. Secured in place. I am one happy chappy. So let's get out of here. Drive a whopping three feet around the corner. Because we're right next to Swell and have ourselves a bit of a shootout. I didn't really give them a heads up that I'm here, but Don't worry. Where are they? You thought you could hide from me back here? Say your last words. Say your last words. You're dead. Always a pleasure to visit Swell. And now a shock about Starbucks. For some supplies for Lydia. And no, that one's not for me. It's actually for some guests we've got at the house. So uh, let's go and see them. It looks like I'm parking here, am I? Lydia's blocked the drive down at the back. We've got vehicles to the left of me and vehicles to the right. I need to get this drive sorted. ASAP. Whoa, whoa, we were. It would appear I have missed a banquet. Because the teapots are out, we've got sandwiches, we've got cookies, we've got iPads. And I can tell this is just a glimpse into what my future is going to look like all the time with kids being at the house. And I'm okay with it. Fee, fa, fo, fum. I smell the smell of a child stinky bum. Hello there. What you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> You want to open even more pop figures? Look how many bloody you've got out. Oh my goodness me. Let me just have a moment. The women are using the man cave. And go on, what did you say? I said you've done a cracking job of down it. Stop it, you Tash. Look, yeah, how good is that toy collection? How good? <laughs> you know it's a good toy collection when you don't even get words together. This honestly makes me so happy to see you all down here. Oh. Honestly, oh this is just melting my heart. I've had such a chaotic start to my day that I've not even had any food. So um, at 2.20 in the afternoon, I'm going to have some porridge. Because all the other snacks around here aren't really the healthiest. And it's taking all of my inner strength to not harness the power of Bruce Bog Trotter. If you get that reference, you're a legend. Oh dear, I've actually run out of oats. But luckily, you guys are the best viewers ever and you sent me in... Some um, Gleb Farm purely oat porridge oats. So I'm going to try these instead. Gluten free, eh? I'll give them a go. May have portioned this a little bit poorly because that's a lot of oats. Time to sweeten it up with a little bit of honey. Lovely jubbly. If I sit down amongst the chaos. The survey says um, Gleb oats. Mmm. 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 You know what? They're not too bad. I just definitely didn't need that much. That could feed me for three days, that. So, uh, oops, <laughs> my bad. Look at all this, how lovely they are, like, giving each of a card. It's like, come on. Why do the boys not do this? Why on Valentine's Day do the lads not get together and go, oh, let's have a lovely afternoon brunch? I feel like if I would have said that to my lads, I'd get a slap around the face, but why, why not? It's 2024, change the stereotype. My oats were delicious, but not as delicious as you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what a dude. And would you look at that, the electrician has tripped the alarm. Because <laughs> we have not forgotten about attempting to turn this back section of the garage into a washroom. Imagine this TV here is a wall, then we're gonna have a door in the center. And this will have fridge, washer, dryer, 
loads of units, places for drying things, hanging off the walls and the ceilings. But to do so, we're going to need to move the alarm pad, the plug sockets, and a few other things. And as far as I'm aware, we'll be good to go. Now, Phil, I'm very aware there's a lot of stuff up there. So if you want me to get that nuked and emptied for you to work, let me know. Flipping out, that's going to be like tidying up the basement all over again. You know what? Let me actually show you it. Flipping heck, this is about to be ridiculous. You ready? Bum, 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 bum. So much random stuff. Oh my goodness. We've got my childhood Lego up here. We've got random Christmas decorations. Um, anyone need um, a spare kitchen cabinet drawer? Because we've got one. There's no way I've discovered another box of pop figures. So I'm going to have to sort them out. And you've got to be having a laugh. Oh my gosh. How many did you guys send me? It can't be. There's another box full at the end. Now, nah, man, get me out of it. I feel like I've taken 10 steps forward and 10,000 steps back. Oh, and what happened to this guy? I just can't be doing this right now. Nope, 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 nope. Out of sight, out of mind. Probably about to make a very big mistake right now. And um, that is by setting up and using the new shaver Lydia gave me because I need to trim my beard because I don't know if you've noticed, but it's pretty long. Along for my standards, don't you guys with beards, like proper big bushy beards, start giving me shit in the comments. But I have no idea what size shaver head I should use. So this has the potential to go mm, very wrong. Before, during and after. I think it's a pretty clean shave, to be fair, and I didn't take too much off. You know what? Um, not sponsored. But that is one of the best shavers I've ever used. Lydia, thank you. I need to get motivated and have a clear mind, so I'm making my bed, staying hydrated, and going back to the madness. I've heard someone shouting, Cop to Tom. T five four. I smell the blood of someone shouting, Cop to Tom. <laughs> You're not ready for this. Oh my gosh, look at you cool kids. <laughs> my boy, put your glasses on. <laughs> put your... Hiya. <laughs> right, you know you love these toys. What if I was to tell you I found even more? Okay. Should I go and get them? Yeah. It's going to be done at some point, so it might as well be done now. All right. Stretch. I'm the motivated man, I'm going all the way into my loft. And thank you for being my cameraman, Jack. How old are you? Three. You're three! And look at that, you're a, you're a natural. Okay, Jack, let's see how many pop figures I can find. Okay, oh, pop figures. Jack, I don't think you're ready for this, mate. I can't actually wait. You ready? Oh my goodness me, Jack. Th Jack, this is just one box. Look how many I've got. Another Deadpool! <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe I've got this many. What have you found? A, blue a, a red Deadpool? A blue Deadpool? Yeah. Isn't blue your favourite colour? No, red. He loves Wait, which one's your favourite col colour? Two. I love, I've loved all of them. <laughs> well, in that case, I think you're going to have to take the blue one and the red one. Okay. <laughs> go and show your mum what you've got. <laughs> Look at him go. You're more than Thank welcome. You. You're more than welcome. You missed it before. This was just haul one. Time to get the rest of them. Here's box two. Here's Santa Claus. And he's me. A random cardboard box. And the rest of the pop figures. Plus that. Oh my goodness me. There was just even more stuff up there. Of like, honestly, all my childhood toys. I can already tell now this is going to turn into just an absolute mammoth task. It needs to get organised. So I'm going to put you with you and also you. And that's easily got to be, what, 50 to 100 pop figures right there? I'm going to start a charity pile here because they're not exactly feng shui for the house anymore. That's why they're in the loft. And the same could be said for most of the stuff up here. But if you are an eagle-eyed viewer, you will notice that that is Lego and my childhood Lego. And that is the base to the infamous Lego castle and Lego nine and three quarters. I found a spare speaker by the looks of things in this box. Not sure what's in that. Wait, Christmas decorations? Really? Yep, in the form of the world's biggest bauble. I think these can go. And behind it, another freaking pop figure. It seems I've come across an industrial amount of um, outside lighting uh, for Christmas decorations. So 
They're, they're pretty good. We'll, we'll keep them spare. Along with the other box I've just thrown down. And then this, if you're good at reading upside down, or if I just flip the camera, is a bag of all my childhood birthday cards. Because you know, at 30, it's always good to know who gave you a card when you were five. And by removing that, I've discovered I've got even more kitchen cabinets up here. One step at a time, man. Come on. I've got to work out what to do with the pop figures, let alone you. Let's just comprise what I've pulled out of there for now and stack it all here along with me Lego. I feel like this is more like a Joe Sugg vlog than anything. Oh, no, my gosh, story time. I think I've told you this before, but when I was a kid, every time I used to do like a swimming badge, like five metres, ten metres or something like that, my dad used to celebrate by taking me to buy a set of Lego. And the first big badge I did, he bought me my first big box of Lego and it it was an underwater like Lego shark thing and this was the base for it. I've still freaking got it. Like honestly, that has just brought back like a tidal wave, get it, of just childhood memories. Wow. And I remember when I got that as well. I felt like the coolest kid in the world because I'm pretty sure at the time that was the biggest Lego set you could get and if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it on screen now. This is what it looked like I think and oh. Man, I'm tempted to see if I can buy that again and rebuild it because there's definitely no way all the parts are in there. Oh, I've had a shocker. I'm trying to remove just the boxes that I've got full of like loose items and the bottom of this has just ripped and started pouring out stuff like, what even is inside this box? Oh, it's all my childhood toys. I found Rex. Slowly does it, slowly does it. Oh, I made it here without losing anything. Or so I think. And whilst I was up there, I found a bag full of all my old train stuff. There's like one of my little trains that I had. And I absolutely love this one. Look at that. And I, I remember buying that like it was yesterday. Oh, even more memories with all this stuff. Because it was my granddad who got me into doing all the model trains. And we actually built our own model train track together. <laughs> I think it's probably in the loft. It is my first ever railway. Oh my goodness me. But I've got a strange feeling Ooh. that this doesn't contain railway stuff. Instead, it <laughs> it's filled with, with Lego. Ah, this is the train stuff. And the final box I've got um, is a bit of a peculiar one. It's like the Minecraft stuff. And oh, I think it's some fun art from you guys. But luckily, I actually have a place to be able to put all this now and keep it all together. Oh, that box right there, that's the box that the Amelium plaque from YouTube came in. I've got a random wreath, a star, and what looks like a bird feeder stand over there. I'm sure people are like, Tom, why are you acting so shocked about what's up here? This is your loft. Um, well, the thing is, I didn't put any of this up here. I'm 99% sure that when this house got to a point of being finished and my dad was building it, it was like, right, time to take Tom's stuff from my house and put it in his new home. And I think he just got put, in, put up here. I've got pop-up tents. I've got, what, well, I have no idea. What, th there's no way. It's not another kitchen cabinet, is it? What? Well, oh my, it is. Why have I got so many? We must have over-ordered or something, but you all know what this means. We're going to need some more really useful boxes and a lot of them. I'm going to leave some boards up here because they're useful to walk on along with the pop-up tents, my YouTube play button box, but I think everything else <laughs> can go. Wait, how the heck did this get up here? Surely the size of that is physically impossible. It's an entire bloody unit. Not a sausage. No, really. Not a sausage at all. I, don't, I do not think that's physically possible. It must have been put in the loft before... The ceiling went on. This is going to be a job for me, so. But speaking of cutting things, um, we're cutting it mighty fine if I want to go out and get some boxes for this stuff. Because home base closes at seven. So we're zooming down there, giving ourselves a place to put all this, and then hopefully reclaiming my kitchen. I will see you in a minute, okay? Bye bye now. There's really no one else like me rushing out the house at 25 to 7 at night on Valentine's Day to go and buy boxes. It's just what I do. One nine minute journey later, I'm here. And this is what I've come for. If you buy in bulk, you save so much money. So I'm gonna take two of these and two of these. Buying in bulk. And I better be quick because I think they're turning the lights off. <laughs> Shout out once again to the staff at home base. They're amazing. As I left all this nearly till, they put it on a trolley for me to take out. That's what you call service. Now I'm not cheating on the really useful boxes with this thing. That's for me to fill with stuff to take to the charity shop. And I could have even squeezed more in there. Just going to take them the trolley back inside because uh, I appreciate that and I think they've just taken the rest of them in. So until next time home base, I am out of here.
five to seven at night. I can finally head home and see my Valentine. <laughs> And here he is. Look at you. How many outfit changes have you had today? Three. Because you look absolutely fabulous. Now, I have only just got home, but um, Lydia requires food ASAP. So I'm going to go out and get some. I'll be back with Scranalad. And hold on to your hats, folks, because woo, this is about to be one heck of a romantic meal because i'm in hide and i'm actually not here for the potato van because it's never bloody there but instead i've come to here for the most amazing kebab thank you so much i am excited and yep this is actually happening on valentine's day but i tell you what it's gonna make lydia very happy oh it smells so good and um yep there's the uh, there's the leak we were talking about in the footwell dripping out of this seal uh, round about there. You see like where it attaches like the window to the roof and everything like that. That's where the water's pouring into the car. Not good. Let's get this inside and get her fed. Um, this is a really random next clip, but I just came to drop off a package with the neighbor and, ah! Oh my gosh, what name did you go for? Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty! <laughs> oh my, I love it. How old is it? Uh, 12 weeks now. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It, <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever held, do you know what I call it? A ball bag cat. Yeah, a ball sack. It's just a big wrinkly so ball bag, isn't yeah. it? Wow, it's, it's 12 weird. weeks old. Oh my gosh, hello little thing. And she's warm though. She's gorgeous, like a little hot water bottle. She's weird. Oh my gosh, thank you for bringing her to the door. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. That's so bizarre. Yep, proper ball bag cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always so nice to see the neighbours. I was not expecting that in the slightest. She just came to the door and I was like, oh my gosh, a ball bag cat. Are you a happy mama? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Is this the ultimate way to do Valentine's Day though? Mm. You and me, let's put on a film, chill out. No, no. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, you really are hungry. I know what you mean. You're getting to a point of, I need food in me now. And I was like, this will do. Yeah, otherwise I'll kill you. But was it a good shout because it's a good kebab? Yeah. Yes. Do you know what makes me sad? What? Right. I, I can't tell you how good my food, but like, it was so incredible. Yeah. And then as soon as it gets like a little bit chilly in the naan bread, it goes all hard. And when it's put like the first bite when it's warm, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't eat it that quickly. That's why I was shoving the whole thing in my mouth in one. I'm just... So excited for this. Hey, listen, and you can't really knock this because it's just chicken. Um, Donna, um, yeah, but if I just had the, just the chicken, I'd you, class this oh, as somewhat... You just get a chicken one, then? I figured you might want some more, man. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. There was a stage where I used to be really romantic. You're still really romantic, babe. I am. We just... Honestly, I know it sounds like a scapegoat thing, but... Um, we oh. never really do Valentine's Day because it's my mum's birthday, so we always go out for a meal, so we never book anything in for Valentine's Day. And then we maybe usually go somewhere like on another day, and then it's not that expensive. Everywhere's not dead booked up. It's dead chill in it, so... This is perfect. This is perfect. Yeah, and yeah. every day is Valentine's Day when you're happy. Uh. Oh, it's no, it's dubbing you. <laughs> oh, high five. Oh, palm, non-greasiness. Look at that, the new Aqua... What did I just say? The new Aquaman movie's out. We're renting it. We're watching it. Great success. Well, um, turns out Aquaman was rubbish. <laughs> we fell fast asleep. And Alfie is very much a current mood of how we feel during it. We fell asleep during like the entire movie because it just was not good in the slightest. But the thing is, we woke up, saw the ending, so we spoiled it yeah. so we wouldn't watch it again. And I wouldn't recommend it, so it's what it is. Oh, look, a little dude. Oh, he's having a dream about something. <laughs> it's like he went, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot when I fell asleep that um, I've still got all this to organise. Mm. Let me just put that there for a second. Assess the time and make a decision. It's officially the first day of Lent and... As I was talking to Lydia's mum yesterday, you either give something up for 40 days or you do something new for 40 days. And for the past few days, I've been kind of toying with the idea of wanting to do a little bit of an exercise challenge. 
I was going to do it just for 30 days straight and see how I felt about it because as you know, I'm like doing the gym routine and stuff like that and I'm in tomorrow, so I don't want to spanner myself too much. And I don't think this is going to be much of a workout, but I want to invite people to do it with me and I'm trying to come up with a name for the challenge. And I keep calling it like the triple threat or something like that. And what I'm thinking is a quick set of something to do every day. Now, I wanted to do it every morning and every night because then it would be a bit more intense. But what I want to do is 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, and then a minute of a plank, and then a rest, and then redo that in total three times. So you do 30 press-ups, 30 sit-ups, and three minutes worth of a plank in total. So I'm going to do that now. Wow. Okay, so I actually didn't know whether I'd feel like I pushed myself with that, but I did. So yeah, 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups, a minute of a plank, 30 seconds recovery, and do it three times. Once a day. I was going to do it every morning, every evening, but if I'm realistic, I know I rush out the house sometimes, I'm just never going to get it done. So I'm going to do that every day for the next 30 days on top of just going to the gym. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but just something extra for the next 30 days. I know Lent's 40, I'm gonna do that every day for the next 30 days and uh, see how it goes. All right, let's do something about this. The simple thought process is just to get a bit of the kitchen back is gonna to be to take all those pop figures downstairs into the basement. I can't believe I thought this was a lot of pop figures on the shelves already without adding this into the mix. Madness. Time to sift through all this and see what's going to charity. Rah. You've been good to me, Steve, but I think it's time to go. I've still got so much fan art from you guys. Some of this stuff here is dating back to 2014. It's just brilliant. The fact that you guys went that extra mile to either bring me a letter, write me a letter, or a gaming event or something is just... It's, it's very humbling. So that box is ready to go downstairs. This is just gonna be chaotic to organize because this is all the old like train models and like little figurines and stuff that went by the side of the tracks. Like, look at this, L little minis that you put like on the side of the train track. <laughs> I've even got a mini Vespa. So you'd get your, your little street lamp like this, then you'd have your little postman <laughs> and then you'd have your little Vespa. That maybe you'd... Oh, it fell over. Will this stay? No, I think this might require glue or something. Let's put it against the lamppost. Look at that. And you've got your little Vespa. How cool is that? Loved doing this with my granddad when I was younger. Whoa. This box gets a little bit confusing because it's like train stuff. Sure. Carriages. But then it's... Oh my goodness me. If I'm right in saying... Anyone here used to have um, the old iPod? And this is what you used to wear around your arm so you could go running <laughs> with your iPod not held in your hand or in your pocket and instead you could run with it on your arm like so <laughs> and then change your songs from here. Wow, <laughs> that is such a throwback. The i oh wait. yeah, the iPod, <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. These boxes, man. This is properly memory lane. Oh, this is the jackpot. The James Bond collectible cars, all the gadgets it had. Oh, 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 oh. the DB5. Look at that thing. And with the press of a button, oh, the armored bulletproof uh, shield will pop up at the back. I was such a nerd as a kid and I absolutely loved it. I'm almost confident this has got a mini butt gun that pops out the back. Yes, look at that. Oh, I'm definitely keeping these. Alfie's playing with these when he's older. Look at this. Wait, what's the gadget on this? Like you press a button and it does something. Oh, missiles come out the front. That is so cool. Flick. Oh, have I got any more? I'm sure I have all of them. But I think that's it. Or not. Which one's this one? Oh, the DBS, but I don't think it does anything. But look how sick that collection is. Everything in this box now just gets a little bit random, like the Commodores on cassette. I, I reckon there's people in this comment section who don't even know what a cassette is. Don't worry, guys. I've got hip hop side one. And uh, <laughs> if you turn it around, I've got hip hop, hip hop side two. Old 1975 Malta coin. Anyone? 
I really shouldn't be doing this at one o'clock in the morning. I've got to get up at 9am for the gym, but I'm just getting a bit um, carried away. There's a bag of miscellaneous train stuff I don't quite know what to do with. Next box. Christmas candlestick holders that can go to charity. Oh, we really getting into my old school toys. And by old school, I mean... Um, uh, uh, Ninja Turtles, anyone? Whatever the heck this thing is. If I was a child and threw that at someone, I'd probably kill them. Apparently it's a dinky toy UFO interceptor. Oh, the wave of nostalgia. The Batmobile, is it submarine? I could be wrong, but oh, that, oh, that is so cool. I've got a random Kellogg's, <laughs> like a cereal card that you could collect. Not a clue. Tweety Pie. <sighs> Everyone had one of these. When you went on holiday with your parents and you could get your name in a necklace or a bracelet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Freeze's like little tank or whatever it was with his freeze cannon on top. Look at that. Definitely keeping that. 1989 Batmobile. Oh, I think I'm keeping that. Now as for the rest of this box. Oh, who remembers these? Can't exactly recall what it was. Something from the year 2000, like a little collector something, but... I remember it, but as for everything else, hey up, <laughs> Thai food tea. I think I'm going to sift through the stuff that's good to give to charity, and then the ones that are just like absolutely wrecked, I think I'm just going to get rid of. It was destiny. I didn't know I had a Land Rover Defender. Look at that bad boy. It's definitely seen better days though. Easily one of my favourite toys. It's like the world's smallest transformer. I don't even know if I can do this with one hand. Probably can't. Give me one second. Look at that. And did I really have a childhood if I didn't have an army man lobbing a grenade off into the distance? From the Defender to lizards and to go-karting, you can kind of see that I've grown up throughout life chasing my passions. Now I've just got to learn how to fly a helicopter and uh, how to play the flute. And last but not least, I found this guy. I don't even think 99% of you are going to understand what this is because even I kind of didn't understand it. I just had them and apparently used to play like football with them by like flicking a ball in front of this guy or something like that. I don't quite get it, but apparently... I did have them at one stage. I've got one more train bag to look through and then I'm calling it quits. I'm probably going to keep all my Lego and put that into a really useful box because I'm sure in a few years time, Alfie's going to be all about Lego and I've loads of spares. And then I think I'll be ready for bed. We've got a train, another train, and another train. A crane and some carriages, but then... Dun, 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 dun. Another very dusty. <laughs> Looks like I've got like a, a leaked bag of weed in here. But it's another James Bond car. And if you press the headrests in, watch this. <laughs> uh, rockets pop out the side. So cool. We've sifted through a lot of this stuff. Charity box, personal bag, train stuff, fan stuff, Legos I need to organize, rubbish and recycling. Oh, I'm tired. It's half past one in the morning. And I'm ready for bed. And he's going to be thinking it's Groundhog Day. He's only just shifted all that cardboard from the front of the house and I've somehow already replaced it. Dead on, half past one. Little dude's woken up for a nap and I think we're both calling it bedtime. Is that right? Oh, he's, he's like, no, daddy, I want to stay up and see all your toys you had as a kid. But mate, I am knackered, so we need to go to bed. I'm going to say this, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. If you have, leave a like, crane, click that subscribe button and ding dong that bell because I film every single week of my life. And um, every uh, waking moment of this guy's existence so far can be checked back upon to look back as a memory. And why does that make you look so puzzled? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just can't wait to look back and see this little dude being such a small little button and see the man he's going to grow into become. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. He is amazing and I love every day of it. But guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Make sure you click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7pm. So until then, much love and a steady house from me and Baldman. <laughs>